remains a matter of concern that more than two years after the International Court of Justice ruled that the decolonization process of Mauritius has not been lawfully completed in view of the unlawful accession of the Chagos Archipelago from its territory prior to independence and that the United Kingdom has an obligation to withdraw its unlawful administration from the Chagos Archipelago as rapidly as possible, we still see no action on the part of the colonial power. And yet, the findings of the ICJ have been affirmed by the UN General Assembly Resolution 73-295. And in January this year, a special chamber of ITLOS has held that those authoritative determinations of international law by the ICJ have binding legal effect, rendering it beyond legitimate dispute that Mauritius is sovereign over the Chagos Archipelago as an integral part of its national territory. I express on behalf of the government and people of Mauritius, and in particular, the Mauritians of Chagosian origin, our sincere gratitude to all the countries that have been supporting us in completing our decolonization, and we appeal to the colonial power to comply with the rulings of the international courts and the resolutions of the General Assembly. Compliance with international law is the responsibility of all law-abiding states. Mr. President, I would like to reiterate the commitment of Mauritius to ensuring the continued operation of the defense facility in Diego Garcia. Mauritius considered the facility vital to the maintenance of international peace and security in the Indo-Pacific region and to efforts to combat terrorism, piracy, and the illicit trafficking of drugs and persons. In this regard, Mauritius as sovereign over the Chagos Archipelago, which includes Diego Garcia, stands ready to enter into a long-term agreement with the United States in respect of Diego Garcia.